Okay, over the top. Here we go. One, two, three, go. <laughs> oh, come on. Oh, please. Yeah, right. <laughs> All right, John, do it. Over the top. Funny John. Oh, no, it's pretty <laughs> He's joking. You want to use both? <laughs> See, they're, they're, you were moving. You were, you were winning. You, yeah, right. Why did you stop? You were winning. Because you were joking. You weren't even trying. <laughs> go. Hey, hey, and go. Now, with your hands now up, go. Do a thumb Come on. <laughs> Here, use both arms. Use both. <laughs> Come on, really. Just any time. Pablo, you want to give her a hand here? <laughs> I'm John P. And I'm Callie Lewis. Today on Geek Beat Live, stop drinking flame retardant. <laughs> Amazon Sunday deliveries. Keep your dog happy while you're away. Stephen Hawking hates robots. And they have finally figured out how to reverse the aging process. Thank God. It all starts now. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Geek Beat Live. Indeed. How are you today, Callie? I'm a little distracted by you today, John. Are you? Yes. Do I look more blingy than usual? You do. Rick, tube maker in the chat room earlier, said that you look ready for the gun range. I am actually ready to stare at my gaming monitors and things like that because I have my new gunner glasses. These things are awesome and they're prescription. They are prescription. So because you can actually see. You look like Bono. I do. I look a little like Bono, <laughs> but I don't sound like him at all. No, you don't. Um, I don't know what he sounds like. I don't either. I barely know who he is. Uh, I know he's rich. But anyway, <laughs> uh, yeah, you guys might remember that a few weeks ago they sent me a whole bunch of different pairs to try on. Uh huh. And this was the one that we that we liked. Kind of we we said this was the one that looked best on John P. And so uh, I went and sent them my prescription prescriptions. Yeah. And they made these. These are actual prescription gunner so lenses. So you've been wearing them all day. Well, since so about, I've been wearing them for about four hours. Okay. How, how do you feel? My eyes are acclimating to them. So the thing is, for those of you who wear glasses, you know, anytime you get a new pair of glasses, they're just a little different than other glasses you have, so your eyes just kind of, it's a little weird at first and it takes a little time to, to right. get used to it. So at this point, I'm not thinking about it anymore. Okay. It feels normal. What I'm trying to do is kind of keep them on all day and then, you know, by now tomorrow is, I can swap back and forth. Are you supposed to do that? Like, no idea. With Gunner? Okay. You, you, you he mistake read, me. I mean, he didn't read the manual. <laughs> yeah, you mistake me for somebody okay. who read the instructions. Well, when we do the review, we will know that information hopefully by that time. Yes, we will know by then. <laughs> uh, but here's what I will tell you that's interesting. So if, if some of you may have noticed, my other glasses are exceptionally light. Yes, they are. They're frame. They're rimless. They're right. they're just these little tiny, tiny titanium they're frames. They're pretty much air. They are like air. And the reason why is because I hate having the weight of glasses on my face. It just it bothers me like the nose pads and all that. And so the biggest thing that I that I'm always concerned about with new glasses is whether they're going to feel heavy. And I, these I, I haven't bothered me uh, at all. Really? I've been wearing them for wow. four hours. Nice. It's like I don't even have them on. They're they're, they're really, really light. light. They're okay. they're well balanced. And you know what oh, I think? Wow, yeah. yeah, they're not Super bad at all. Light. And you know what's cool? And I don't know if we can see. I don't know if y'all can see this. <laughs> they're already getting dirty, but uh, it says Gunner. Like even though they're prescription oh, lenses, I you see? Those were like dots. It says Gunner yeah, up right. there in awesome. the, like in the corner. I don't know if you can see that, but yeah. anyway, they put it in there, so it's pretty cool. Cool. I like it. Well, everybody's been commenting on them, so follow-up review to come soon. Yeah, I'll let you know. In the meantime, we have homework for you guys. It's oh. easy homework. Don't worry. But if you haven't seen... Lynn, can you get off the printer in there? I've got a printout. We, you see, I, printed I, something got, and forgot to bring it we, in. We have the homework, but... Nice. I do have some preliminary results we yes. can share from the homework here in okay, a minute. Okay, perfect. But tell them what it is. So, 
up desk you guys know that the sit stand desks that are motorized um, from up desk are being donated to the new building to the new geek house that we will be moving in soon it's gonna be awesome yeah that's so awesome and they said we can customize the desk and offer up the customized desk to you guys the viewers to buy if you want so how awesome is that very very cool but we have decisions to make. So we That's have right. a two question survey for you guys to fill out at geekbeat.tv slash desk color. Desk color. We want to know if you are going to buy one, what color do you want? When we get back after our commercial break, I'll tell you what the results are at the moment. And oh. then, then if you agree or disagree, you, you're going to have to change the results. Okay. But before we go to commercial break, I, I have a question. Yes. We are currently missing something. We are. We right are now, missing Todd. We are missing Todd. Well, you're always missing Todd. Well, I'm always missing. But, How can you not? But <laughs> Todd, right now, we were going to go watch him because he's doing his muscly competition thing. Yeah, there's a huge competition here in Dallas at the convention center, and he and is competing there. He's. Uh, by now, he's already been on stage. Uh -huh. Do we have any pictures of that? We do. Well, this oh, is him, this is him prepping, prepping, right? Before the show. Uh, I mean, you could could you get any closer to that? Yeah, can we I zoom mean, in zoom a little? In? No, it's on, a, it's on a computer. Oh, we oh, can't. Okay. We can't. Okay. <laughs> well, so people well, are going to have to go follow him on. <laughs> yeah, Callie's like, could we get a work, little. He doesn't work out with me with his shirt off. Could we get a little closer? <laughs> Could you get it in no, 3D, Dave? Congratulations to Todd on whatever happens today and tomorrow in We're his proud competition. Of him. So he's going to kick everybody's been, butt. He has been working his butt off. You should see, you guys should follow him on Twitter, on the Twitters and the Instagrams because he looks ridiculous. Yep. All right. Anyway. We are going to go to commercial break and then come back and share the results with you that from those of you who have filled out the survey. Yes. We'll be right back. I was trying to think of a more interesting way to end it. Yeah. What was that? Just come, I'm just bringing us back. I don't know. Just slamming on the desk to Why bring not? us back. Hey, folks, Hi. I'm John P. <laughs> I was just making sure they were paying attention. And that's Callie Lewis. And as promised, I have... The results. Only the preliminary results. Now, m mind you, this is only about maybe like 12 hours worth of people getting to submit results. But so far, we've had 372 responses. Right. Uh, the primary question here was... I uh, which color of Geek Beat Special ed Edition right. desk would you like, okay? Black or white? Well, basically black and white, okay? Uh, Red all over. Black and white, but also we said black with the Geek Beat logo on it, or right. black with just plain, with just plain, or white with the Geek Beat logo, or whatever. So, and so who, I want to know who chose without the Geek Beat logo, because um, I have some words for them. No, yeah. Actually, 23% <laughs> of people said no. said no logo, just black or white. Nice. But which this actually surprised me. At their website now. Yes, you can, you can which is website. cool. Um, this surprised me, because I honestly thought that most people were going to say, I would like the whiteboard versions because you can write all over the desk uh -huh. and work on it. I had you pegged wrong. I we that, were that was not the case. That's why we ask. Yep. But then again, a whole bunch of you might be going, wait, that's what I want. I want the whiteboard version. But Ben is if on that's a campaign the case, to get people to choose the whiteboard. Well, version. Ben is way behind because 164 <laughs> people, which is 44 percent, said the black surface with the Geek Beat logo. So 44 percent. Want a black surface with the Geek Beat logo silk screened onto right. it. Only 24%, which is 90 people, want the white dry erase surface with the Geek Beat logo on it. All right. So well, it's those like are a two preliminary. It's like two thirds, right. you know, uh, winning in favor of the black with the Geek, with the Geek Beat logo. Well, you guys still have time, so get your votes in geekbeat.tv slash yep. up. No. Desk color. Just desk geekbeat.tv color. Geekbeat slash desk desk color. Desk color. Or go to the show notes. Show notes geekbeat.tv slash live. 137. Okay. 137. <laughs> 137. That was kind of small. <laughs> All right, it's time to get to the news because big things happened this week, including the resignation of Target's CEO. <gasps> Well, this came a little late after the Target breach. Um, yeah. So you guys, 
You remember that Target had a big breach over security. The credit cards were stolen. This actually affected you. It did. John. They made me uh, replace my credit cards and all kinds of stuff. Twice and all kinds of crazy stuff. And uh, as a result of the breach, the Target's CTO and CIO had already, or CTO and CIO, who is a person, one person doing both jobs, resigned two months ago. Okay. And uh, now the CEO said, you know what, I'm out of here too. Uh, So currently the only C-level kind of executive left over there is the (laughs) CFO who has taken over temporarily uh, until they sort this mess out. Right. But, you know, at the time I did blame, I blamed the leadership team. I said, okay, yes, there are technological problems here, et cetera, et cetera. But at the end of the day... This is a company that deals with millions and millions and millions of people, and security has to be job one. You cannot tell me that with all their IT resources, nobody ever floated to them a concern over the security. And they probably had a price tag attached to it, and they said, you know what, Um, let's not worry about it. That's kind of expensive. Well, guess what? It would have been cheap compared to what's happened. Yeah, Yeah, exactly. So, So that's done. Well, uh, also in big news, NBC, who previously had a $4.38 billion deal to have exclusive rights to uh, air and use the Olympic coverage uh, through 2012, now just outed that they have signed a $7 billion 12-year extension. So they now have exclusive rights for all the Olympic stuff through 2032. So Hope I can't enjoy even their count coverage. that far out. I'm I'm going to be old, old, old by the time they they release that. <laughs> right. Hope well. you enjoyed all their coverage. Now they did uh, start live streaming at last uh, time, but, but you have to have. You have to be subscribed to a cable provider in order to get yeah, access kind of to stupid. that stream. So it's not like it's actually available to anybody and everybody. My hope is that as time passes, people um, and advertisers and sales folks uh, who are doing these monetization for these programs are going to realize that folks like the people who are watching this show live are just as valuable as folks who are watching it You know, whether it's on the internet or whether it's on TV, it doesn't matter. It's more eyeballs watching it. So just release the content however people want to consume it. That's that's all we're asking. I am? Yes. Okay. Calling everybody valuable, which they nice. are. I'm just getting nice. a little sentimental here. Are you a little verklempt? Right. No, All right. Actually, you know, the other day when I was um, on Amazon shopping, yep. I, I do that from time to time, uh, I noticed that I had the option to get something delivered on Sunday to yep. straight to me without getting shipped right through the normal process and I have to wait till I come home to the office, I mean, which is my home really, (laughs) to get it. Now Amazon has announced that they are launching uh, that Sunday delivery service in 15 new markets. So Dallas, Austin, College Station, Cincinnati, Houston, Indianapolis, Lexington, Kentucky, Louisville, uh, New Orleans, Oklahoma City, Philly, San Antonio, Shreveport, and Waco. Congratulations. Why are all these places in Texas? Congra- <laughs> Congratulations to all of those places in Texas. Most specifically, New Orleans. Dallas. <laughs> we are so happy to be able to get Sunday. It makes a big difference, actually, because now it does. when you think about it, you're like, you know what? I really need to go to the store for such and such thing. And it used to be that if it was, you let's say, like, Friday, uh, you'd be like, oh. I don't really want to do that. Uh, I don't want to go, but I, I can't wait till Monday. Well, now you can get it on Saturday. You can get it on Sunday. Well, it's seven days a week. So basically, they have just removed uh, obstacles exactly. to, to us placing orders through Amazon. And just eventually, we'll all just sit in our house and get fat, like in that movie. Uh, what's the movie with Wally? The, Wally. We'll just have our little floating things and our TVs and our big Slurpee cups. We'll be, <laughs> Amazon will be showing up, dropping off more Slurpee cups. It'll be life will be great, and with but that's that, okay because yep. we have anti reverse aging reversing coming up, so maybe that'll oh, help out. In I that cannot scenario. wait to talk about that. We will talk about that later, but right now I want you to go to geekbeat.tv slash famespot and answer the question: If that was available, would you use it? And how much would you pay for it? Yeah. Go to geekbeat.tv forward slash famespot. Tell us right now. Right now. Welcome back.
back to Geepy Live. I'm Callie. I'm John P. John P or John P? P. They don't even know what that's from. Do it's, you even remember what that's yes, from? Yes, it was from a building update video. Speaking of which, have oh, you that's gotten right. the video update yeah, out to our patrons? Uh, yeah, oh, the brain leakage. Was that the brain leakage yeah, video? Same, same that's oh, yeah. right. I haven't gotten the video out. Yeah, so all of you patrons I was looking for at the $15 level go. and up, I have been requesting John release a specific video for you. Um, I can't find it. Oh, no. <laughs> can't find the video. And I, all right. And, what you, and I said, hey, drop it in the box for well, me. I'll take care of it. I, I thought I did that. I thought I gave it to you. <laughs> I don't have the credentials. She said, no, we'll take care of it. No, did you check on the server? You all, check you the have, all you have to do is wouldn't, upload it to YouTube as, as unlisted. Wouldn't, wouldn't do me any good. Didn't you check uh, the, <laughs> in, the inbound all right, is, server? All right, let's... No, because Callie said no. I, Callie said not to check it. You were on that email thread. You could have told him that yourself. Wait and a minute. Now we are airing our dirty laundry in public. So well, I well, apologize. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Did, <laughs> did anybody ever hear ever at the entire <laughs> building of all the people accuse me of getting anything done properly? No, they never accused me of that. So why would you be expecting me to get it done properly? I don't have it. I can't do anything with it. I put it on the anyway, network. Anyway, thank you so much to all of you patrons who are supporting us. We have videos for you. Yes, like we, do. we have promised to do. I put them on the network. We will get those uploaded as soon as one of us finds them. It's just on the QNAP, guys. Come on. It is on the QNAP. By the way, did you notice I have my QNAP shirt on? I did. On? It looks spectacular. It's, isn't it nice? It is. Check out my awesome QNAP. Shirt. I, I like the little design. The, it's got the, the little, the it's got, yeah, it's, uh, well, we have to get, there we go. It's got the little green thing here, yeah. and it's got it on my side. So nice. It's, like, it's slimming, isn't it? Yes, it it's is like, very slimming. It's John slimming. P., have it, you lost weight? It's slimming. <laughs> and, best of all, my QNAP shirt matches my Gunner glasses a little bit, because it's like the yellowy kind neon? of, like yellowy, yellowy. See, you like that? That's, That's green, why I John. did that. No, that's yellowy. Okay, it's yellow. It's, it's yellow e. Story. It's yellow e. <laughs> well, speaking of which, we is it blue? Releasing... Is it blue? No. Then it's yellow e. <laughs> See, right. we've been that's releasing a lot of QNAP tutorial videos, by the way, guys. So oh, yeah. if you if you want to know how to get more out of your QNAP, you just have to go to geeky.tv. Forward slash QNAP tutorials. There you go. Yeah, I didn't know, we got a lot. I didn't know we had it. Oh, yeah, we set like, that up. Awesome. If we didn't, Dave Peterson will right now. <laughs> All right, shall we get on with... Oh, it's gadget time. Gadgets. Google Maps, for instance. These, this is not so much an, a, a, a gadget you as mean, much as an app. You mean Uber Maps? Ah, maybe we should rename it. Well, Google Maps actually came out with a lot of updates, including the fact that uh, they've integrated uh, Uber. So if you have the Uber app installed on your phone, you can now see, like, you can compare. Should I take Uber or should I drive myself or take public transportation? So you can see all. What are you doing? Why you, did you lose your run sheet? Nice. No, I didn't. Uh -huh. I'm looking at the. I'm looking at the, Bruce found the coffee cup shipping in the U line, so I'm opening it in another tab, tab of the browser. Okay, and fair you know enough. what? You people wouldn't have known, but Callie has to share all our dirty laundry today. I was just listening to her do her thing. She's Meanwhile, like, I just opened another tab. I was just like, oh, let me just open this other tab in the browser window here. No one will even know until she called me out. Thanks, Callie. No worries, John. Speaking of, oh, also. Speaking of touch-free toilets. <laughs> what? Okay. There that's were the next story. A lot of other uh, updates to Google Maps, but nope, okay. No, we're going to touch-free toilets. On to toilets. Because I loves me some touch-free toilets. Don't you hate it? When you go to the bathroom and somebody's been there before you and they did not flush the toilet, or... I, I will not use that stall at all. Or when they put one of those automated toilety flushy things on there and it doesn't do its flushy thing. Or it does it while you're using the restroom. Yeah, I hate it when that happens. Woo! But now <laughs> there is a new Kohler touch-free system, it can also be added, it can be added to toilets for 99 bucks. All you do, look at this, wave your hand. Yeah. You wave your hand because it so, is a magn electromagnetic system made of beams and 
Magno Electrics. And adamantium. And adamantium. Okay then. And kryptonite. I just hope it works better than the sinks, the, the sinks and the soap dispensers. Oh, Those things. Yeah, you're like, you like <sighs> stick your hand under the you're soap like, and you're like, uh, 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 and nothing, and, nothing and then like happens. you hold it there and it's like, <laughs> <laughs> fill your hand up and then you're like, oh my god, now you got to do this and then you go like this. Uh, uh, and you uh, have to, uh, yeah, uh, so uh, uh, we'll see if that works any better. It sounds like, it sounds actually pretty awesome. It's from Kohler, and Kohler makes good stuff. Well, Kohler also makes those things that don't work. Kohler makes my favorite toilets. I love Kohler toilets. I love Kohler toilets, too. We, maybe we can get Kohler like to Kohler just, toilets. you know what, I want to get Kohler to be <gasps> the Geek Beat sponsors, yeah. just so that I could, like, put a big toilet on the, on the table and just hug it and be like, I love Kohler toilets. I would do that if they paid me enough money. <laughs> in fact, in fact, to our friends over at Kohler, if you will pay me enough money, I will physically carry a Kohler toilet with me everywhere I go, all day, every day. Wow. If you'll pay me enough money. I, one day somebody I'm, will actually go with that. Okay. Why not? I Wouldn't may not you? be hanging out with you. Look, for a million dollars, would you carry a Kohler toilet everywhere you go? Of course. <laughs> Tell the people at Kohler how much you love their toilets. Maybe we'll get a million dollars. We don't know these things. We have to try. <sighs> also, um, the, I, the coolest thing about this Kohler toilet thing that I figure, that I think is cool, uh -huh. whatever, <laughs> screwed that sentence up, is that it's not only available on the new toilets coming out, but it's also going to have a $99 retrofit system for your old toilet so you don't have to replace your entire toilet. How I awesome said that right that? at the beginning. You did? Yeah, I did. I was not Moving on. To you. you know what the best thing about Kohler toilets is? They are not full of hot air. Unlike the rest of this. Nice. Show. Nice segue. However, <laughs> you know what is full of hot air? Arizona. Hot air. Full of Arizona. All Arizona is full of hot air. <laughs> it's really hot in Arizona. How? It's so hot what in are Arizona they doing about and that? dry. It's hot and dry in Arizona. And what are they doing so about that? So they're building hot air tower electrical generators like this. They got a contract to build the first one ever out down by the border of Mexico. They're going to build this giant tower. What they do is they build this giant tower. It's dry, hot air. Yeah. And at the top of the tower, this is ingenious. I know. At the top of the tower, they basically spray, think of it like this, it's like a water misting system at the top inside the tower. They spray it, and you know how those things will like really cool you off? Yes. Well, they, cool, they spray it at the top, it creates cool air, cool air goes down, it goes down, it pushes through all of these electric turbine generators down there, uh -huh. and it makes electricity 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 366 days a year. And that is awesome. They even added one extra day per year by building this. Did you get that? <laughs> no, and, I didn't. Yeah. And it's going to keep the desert air conditioned. That's right. And it's a desert air conditioner. I'm just trying to figure out if it's the gunner glasses or something else, like maybe the Mountain Dew Code Red. Code Red that's gotten you so amped up today. Thank you, Lynn, for bringing me my <laughs> Diet Mountain Dew Code Red. I would needed it. And All we've right, got to go to commercial quick. break. Oh, but I, I teased this uh, little this uh, one in the... Okay, so go I, ahead. Just real quick. Clever Pet is a Kickstarter project that wants to keep your pet occupied and learning throughout the day, even when you're not there. So they have created this little treat dispenser that at first, anytime the dog goes up to it, it will d dispense a treat. And then it starts to get tricky on them and it'll only light up like one of the three lights. And if the dog presses the lit up button, then it'll dispense the treat. Anyway, it's these, this, it's, a, it's a way of trying to get your dog to be active in his mind and I his see. brain and learn and change and grow while you're at work growing yourself. Oh, I see. Isn't so that cute? what we're doing is we're creating a crack system for dogs. That exactly. Just, I mean, oh, I see. Now, the question I have is with all these treats that it's getting dispensed, how much more are you going to have to walk it? But It needs to be on the Geek Fit program. Yes. Okay, guys, we'll be right back after we pay for these commercials with these. No, the TV show the with, the with the commercials. We're gonna. I, I think we're. <laughs>
We oh. need money. <laughs> You guys were having fun with that toilet story in the chat room, I noticed. Lots of toilet jokes. KJIO, sorry Mr. P, Kohler is a little upscale for that. And Paul, did I see that you were getting mad earlier? I, what were you getting mad about? He did not like the idea of me carrying a toilet around, a I guess. Apparently not. I guess. As a backpack. Like, Paul, yeah. Paul is such Ooh, an easygoing an guy, I'm not sure what about yeah. toilets gets him mad. He does not like toilets. Hmm. At all. That is a good idea. What about that? I will make a Kohler toilet into my backpack and I will wear it everywhere. What? For one million dollars. Wait, For one what? million dollars. You're Kohler, gonna make a toilet backpack? I am going to take a Kohler toilet. Uh-huh. I'm going to put straps on it. I'm going to wear it as a backpack everywhere. Of and course. they only need to give us $1 million, and I will do that for like a year. $1 million, I will wear a Kohler toilet for a year as a backpack. Hawkman has a good question. Would you carry a great value toilet for $50? A great value toilet from Walmart? Right. It's not mm. great value, is it? I That's will, their brand. He's, you know what? I don't know if their toilets are called great value. Let me just put it this way. For one no, million, Walmart's brand is great value. Yes, let me put it this way: for one million dollars, honestly, I don't care who the, I don't care who you are. I will carry your toilet on my back for one million dollars. I don't care. Their 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 generic brand, I can't their believe, Walmart brand, is great value. I can't believe we are having a debate about Walmart's brand. Let's Indian leg wrestle right now. Hey, you, you were just at a Walmart. She, you don't land. want an Indian leg wrestler. She will crush what? you. <laughs> she will crush you like a little. Are you saying I have big legs? No, hey. I'm saying you're strong. You know, she reminds me of that girl from Golden uh, Golden Eye, the bad girl. That yeah. Was strangling people. Oh, the black girl. the black chick. No, that good lord, that was. You what are you? Oh, what you do a kill. What's about? her name? Uh, Grace Jones. Grace Jones. I don't know. Scariest what woman in the universe. About. She's the one that was strangling people by Ooh. getting her legs around them and just. Yeah, squeeze him to death. Let's come back. <laughs> a working, uh, uh, yes. Why for does one, this say it's two p.m.? For one million dollars, I will. I will wear a working <laughs> toilet. I will wear a toilet filled with water that people can flush right on my back for one million dollars. Yes, yes, I will. Er do it. Eric, I agree. Uh, carrying a toilet like that would ruin his back. I, I, maybe I, he would it, not. For a million dollars, I can afford a lot of chiropractic work. Yeah. You know. <laughs> Yeah, I can do that. Uh, the me the wheels are always off the bus. Yeah, and Gio's not even around us. I know. All day. Michael That's said he's uh, thinking of he's oh, thinking of Zinnia on a top from Goldeneye. Yes. There you go. Yeah, that was good. Great value in Equator Walmart brands. Tell Curly to go to Wally World more often. Uh, Thank you, Josh. Oh. Main stays. Josh knows. That's our home deck. Oh, okay. Is that what you were thinking? Uh -huh. oh. See Hawkman T. Oh. It's the Porta John. Nice. It's the Porta John. <laughs> That's it. Why I do see. they have three brands? Hey, would you guys please? Uh, Why don't they just uh, make one brand so that we all know what the Walmart brand is? I don't know. Would you guys it's please? Walmart. Would you all please look up Kohler's? Uh, trying to chat, talk no. to the chat room earlier. We're back from commercial break. <laughs> so Dave is, hey guys. Is, thinks he's uh, funny over there and uh, brought us back to commercial break a there little was, early than we had planned. There was a lot of toilet jokes going around during, during the, commercial the commercial break. break. But there now... Were, this is the crappiest show we've done. That's right. Now it's time for science. I'm excited. No, you're not as excited as I am. Well, no, I'm not because you need it more. So they have found an Wow. <laughs> wow. That made my nose bleed. <laughs> my back. Can somebody get this out of my back? <laughs> Harvard found the aging gene. That's what this story is about, that I need more. Go ahead. I would just like to point out one thing. Who found it? MIT. Who found it? We don't let facts get in the way of our story around here. <laughs> MIT found it. So the, the protein is called GDF11, and they have found that it is in both mice 
and in men. So in, of mice and men. Exactly. Nice. They're calling it the Linny gene. It's interesting how uh, this was found by MIT's Harvard Stem Cell Institute. Why do you keep bringing up Harvard? Uh, Harvard has uh, nothing to do with the story here. Oh, okay. So. <laughs> No, uh, but so they found this, uh, yes, the, the Stem Cell Institute. Basically, here's what happened. They, they took some of this junk out of people. I don't know what it is. No, they took it out of young people. They pumped it into old people. The old people got mice. young again. Mice. People, mice, what's the <laughs> difference? I haven't tested it on people yet. That if comes it, in five years. If it works on mice, you know it's going to work on people. Of course, because we're exactly the same. Was it, Basically. Was it Dr. Ponce de Leon that, that discovered it? No. I guess it wasn't. So uh, the organs retained the function um, that you know of of, an, of a younger generation of that mouse, and yep. including the brain. So that's a good sign. They got younger. They got younger. They regenerated. That is awesome. Except uh, you know we're still five years off of human testing, so we will see if that what, turns out. Well, what we're trying to. We have a volunteer. <laughs> yes. Right. Well, for a million dollars, I'll take it right now. Wow, well, okay? you really are trying to get a million dollars in your pocket I would, I would today. Like to, I would like well, to have some, a million dollars. Well, we need it. We you need know the what? money. Another option is for more of you patrons to become pay more of you viewers to become patrons. That's true. And maybe get John his million dollars because I'm a little sick of hearing about the million dollars. Well, we need a million dollars because we already owe a million dollars on the right. building, and that's not even a joke. I wish that was a joke. <laughs> that's coming out of our pockets. <laughs> All right. Maybe but that's why there's so many cougars. Maybe cougars? Yeah. Maybe huh? I could sell a organ or something. I hear you can get good money for organs. Yeah. I'm not sure anybody wants my organs. After eating candy all your life? I, Probably I, I, not. Kim's doing this. Okay, but we have one more important story. Okay, what is that? Now the world has figured out how the Egyptians built the pyramids way back when, so now we can go build more pyramids. Well, that's what we need. That's what Las Vegas needs, more pyramids. <laughs> Here's what they did, people. What they did was, instead of just putting big blocks of stone on the sand and getting a whole bunch of slaves with ropes to drag it across the sand... Which is what everybody thought. Yeah, you were wrong. So what wrong. What they did was, they got a whole bunch of slaves and they tied them to a bunch of rocks and drug them across the sand. But... but it was damp sand. They sprinkled the sand with water first. Turns out it's huh? easier. Huh? Huh? Impressive. You see? That's now, how it was done. We're going to go to commercial break and let you think you and can ponder just ponder about that. that. Actually, we're not think going to commercial that. break. We're moving on. We're gonna so think. you don't get to ponder it. Oh, there's no moving on? <laughs> oh, it's I, odd story time. Exactly. You Did know you what? you know? Go that ahead. All the Pepsi and the Coke products that you drink, mm -hmm. it turns out you have been drinking the same brominated vegetable oil that's uh -huh. found in flame retardants. This explains a lot. That's why when yes. you drink a Coke, the heartburn goes away. <laughs> really? That's right. Really this explains, explains a lot. This explains why I'm such a good bladesmith. Huh? Huh? Because I don't catch on fire? Oh my god. Huh? We got a big forge. What, what I stick Jewish? metal in it. I pull it out. Bang, 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 bang. Not on fire. Do I look like I'm on fire to you? No. But guess what? Now, that was lame. Pepsi and Coke took the fire retardant out. They said it's what totally am I supposed safe. To do? Don't worry. It's safe. It's safe. But we're going to take it out anyway. It's safe. It has no known effects on the human body, but... Oh, well, if you drink more than well, two liters a day of this stuff, it could it can, have some issues. It can build up inside the human body. Uh, there's no real known side effects except for um, memory, nerve, and skin issues. Yeah. But another reason no, that safe. no one wants your liver or your organs. Great. Yeah. So, so, so we're not gonna, I'm not so going to get the million dollars. You can't throw coke on a, on a fire to put it out anymore. You can't. That do is it, true. They they they, the they are going you to replace it. it with something else. It all came to pass because a few years yeah. ago, yeah. a 15 well, year old girl put out a petition trying to get this out. I don't even know how she figured out it, it was in there, wow. but somebody was paying attention in her science class. You must have done your homework, because that's not even the show notes. I didn't even know that. Yeah. But what they're going to do, here's the bottom line, people, and then we're going to commercial break. They're getting rid of the bromium, petroleum, antiflamium, 
and they're gonna put in pesticide. That way, <laughs> that way for sure, you can get rid of any of the bugs around your the house. Point you can is, have a little Coke and then sprinkle it around, get rid of the bugs, it'll be good. The point is drink more Pepsi and Coke products. We'll be right back. Yeah. trying to chat, talk well, to the chat room earlier. We're back from commercial break. <laughs> so Dave is, hey guys. Is, thinks he's uh, funny over there and uh, brought us back to commercial break a there little was, early than we had planned. There was a lot of toilet jokes going around during, during the, the commercial, commercial break. break. But now, this is the crappiest show we've done. That's right. Now it's time for science. I'm excited. No, you're not as excited as I am. Well, no, I'm not because you need it more. So they have found. An wow. <laughs> wow. That made my nose bleed. Oh, my back. Can somebody get this out of my back? <laughs> Harvard found the aging gene. That's what this story is about, that I need more. Go ahead. I would just like to point out one thing. Who found it? MIT. Who found it? We don't let facts get in the way of our story around here. <laughs> MIT found it. So the, the protein is called GDF11. And they have found that it is in both mice and in men. So in, Of mice and men? Exactly. They're calling it the Livy gene. It's interesting how uh, this was found by MIT's Harvard Stem Cell Institute. Why do you keep bringing up Harvard? Uh, Harvard has uh, nothing to do with the story here. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> no, uh, but so they found this, uh, yes, the, the Stem Cell Institute. Basically, here's what happened. They, they took some of this junk out of people. I don't know what it is. No, they took it mice. out of young people. They pumped it into old people. The old people got mice. young again. Mice. People, mice, what's the <laughs> I difference? I haven't tested it on people yet. That if comes it, in five years. If it works on mice, you know it's going to work on people. Of course, because we're exactly the same. Was it, Basically. Was it Dr. <laughs> Ponce de Leon that, that discovered it? I no. guess it wasn't. So uh, the organs retained the function um, that, you know, of, of, an, of a younger generation of that mouse. Hmm. Yep. And including the brain, so that's good sign. They got younger. They got younger. They regenerated. That is awesome. Except, uh, you know, we're still five years off of human testing, so we will see if that what, turns out. Plus what we're trying to. We have a volunteer. <laughs> yes. Right. Well, for a million dollars, I'll take it right now. Wow, well, you okay. know, really are trying to get a million dollars in your pocket I would, I would today. Like to, I, I would like well, to have a million dollars. Well, we somebody, need it. We need the what? money. Another option is for more of you patrons to become paid, more of you viewers to become patrons. That's true. And maybe get John his million dollars because I'm a little sick of hearing about the million dollars. Well, we need a million dollars because we already owe a million dollars on the right. building. And that's not even a joke. I wish that was a joke. <laughs> that's coming out of our pockets. <laughs> All right. Maybe but that's why there's so many cougars. Maybe. Cougars? Yeah. Maybe huh? I could sell a organ or something. I hear you can get good money for organs. Yeah. I'm not sure anybody wants my organs. After eating candy all your life? I, Probably I, I, not. I Kim's doing this. Okay, but we have one more important story. Okay, what is that? Now the world has figured out how the Egyptians built the pyramids way back when, so now we can go build more pyramids. Well, that's what we need. That's what Las Vegas needs, more pyramids. <laughs> Here's what they did, people. What they did was, instead of just putting big blocks of stone on the sand and getting a whole bunch of slaves with ropes to drag it across the sand... Which is what everybody thought. Yeah, you were wrong. So what wrong. What they did was, they got a whole bunch of slaves and they tied them to a bunch of rocks and drug them across the sand. But, but it was damp sand. They sprinkled the sand with water first. Turns out it's huh? easier. Huh? Huh? Impressive. You see? That's now, how it was done. We're going to go to commercial break and let you think you and can just ponder, ponder that. about that. Actually, we're not going think to commercial that. break. We're moving on. We're so think. you don't get to ponder it. Oh, there's no moving on? <laughs> oh, it's I, odd story time. Exactly. You know Did what? You know go that ahead. All the Pepsi and the Coke products that you drink, mm -hmm. it turns out you have been drinking the same brominated vegetable oil that's uh -huh. found in flame retardants. This explains a lot. 
That's why when yes. you drink a Coke, the heartburn goes away. <laughs> really, That's right. It really this explains, explains a lot. This explains why I'm such a good bladesmith. Huh? Huh? Because I don't catch on fire? Oh, my God. Huh? We got a big forge. What, what I stick Jewish? metal in it. I pull it out. Bang, 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 bang. Not on fire. Do I look like I'm on fire to you? No. But guess what? Now, that was lame. Pepsi and Coke took the fire retardant out. They said it's what totally am I supposed safe. To do? Don't worry. It's safe. It's safe. But we're going to take it out anyway. It's safe. It has no known effects on the human body, but... Oh, well, if you drink more than well, two liters a day of this stuff, it could it can, have some issues. It can build up inside the human body. Uh, there's no real known side effects except for um, memory, nerve, and skin issues. Yeah. But another reason no, that safe. no one wants your liver or your organs. Great. Yeah. So, so, so we're not gonna I'm not going to get the million dollars. You can't throw coke on a on a fire to put it out anymore. You can't. That do is it, Dave. true. They they the they are going you to replace it. it with something else. It all came to pass because a few years yeah. ago, yeah. a 15 year old girl put out a petition trying to get this out. I don't even know how she figured out it, it was in there, wow. but somebody was paying attention in her science class. You must have done your homework because that's not even the show notes. I didn't even know that. Yeah. But what they're going to do, here's the bottom line, people, and then we're going to commercial break. They're getting rid of the bromium, petroleum, antiflamium, and they're going to put in <laughs> pesticide. That way, <laughs> that way for sure... You can get rid of any of the bugs around your the house. Point you can is, have a little Coke and then sprinkle it around, get rid of the bugs. It'll be good. The point is drink more Pepsi and Coke products. We'll be right back. Yeah. Live. That's did, John P. Did that seem like we came back really like suddenly? Or was that just me? I think it was just you because you were paying attention to uh, Uline or something. I'm looking up the coffee mug <laughs> shipping, shipping boxes. You see how she throws me under the bus again? That's two times in one show. We've got like 137 episodes without, without me getting caught. And then finally, episode 137. Oh, this has to end. John P. can no longer look at anything else. <laughs> I know. What can I say? Oh, you know, she, I know why she's doing it because it's robot time, and normally that's a happy time for Callie. It's but not, today, it's not a very maybe happy time not so for me. much. It's not a great robot segment. So, in order to give myself you like some time me to, to do get it? into it, um, you thought you'd, you'd attack me. No, you thought you would. I, just go well, I'm trying to actually point get, out my transgressions. I'm trying to to get our work your way up in. to it. Hey, we, I want to. Oh, you want to? No, I think we'll audience. do. Uh, we're going to do our check-in after robot time. <laughs> First, it's robot time. Let's hear robot time. I have never looked forward to robot time so much as I have today. What do you have for us, Callie? Well, this first one is okay. It's pretty good. The second one, not so much. The first one, EasyJet. It's an airline. It's British airline. Uh -huh. They're focused on. Cheap flights, if you will. Like I mean, like airplanes? inexpensive flights. Uh -huh. What? Flights what? taking you places? Yes. That's what they're focused on? <laughs> Are they flights of fancy? I think I got it. <laughs> anyway, um, they have announced that they are using drones for inspection processes now. Huh. So here's the deal. When a plane goes into maintenance, it usually takes like a full day to get inspected because... These planes are big, and they have lots of nooks and crannies and things that people have to try and look at and determine if they're okay. And Sounds they like you're dragging this story on. along a little bit. <laughs> I think funny. you're dragging along. So let me get. Let me see if I can summarize for you. <laughs> They've got some drones. They're going to fly them around. They can see, oh, it's inspected. The plane looks good. Let's move on. What's the next story today, Callie? John. I mean, I think, did I, did, do we fundamentally have it? They're using yeah. robots to inspect the airplanes. Yeah, What's our next story? Pretty much the story. Next up is Stephen Hawking, who we all know and love. Oh, isn't Stephen Hawking one of the most respected scientific <laughs> minds ever to have walked planet Earth? 
Well, I don't know. I mean, or rule I don't, planet Earth, as the I, case may be. I don't know if Wikipedia would say that specifically. <laughs> Wait, are you going to throw him under the no. bus to try and make yourself more? <laughs> the guy talks like a speaking you don't throw him under the bus. Uh, yeah, she's not going to throw Stephen Hawking. <laughs> Just get to it. What's the story? He has come out and said that he doesn't know if artificial intelligence is, well, he's pretty much scared of it. That we've done such a great job at artificial intelligence these days that he's a little nervous about where it's nervous. leading. A little and, nervous. And uh, that it, he says it's the biggest event in human history, the success of, of AI. Yeah, what did but he say after that? it might also be the last. <laughs> it might be the, what? Wait, what did Stephen Hawking say? Did Stephen Hawking say, and I quote, Artificial intelligence is the biggest single, the biggest event in human history, but unfortunately might also be the last. You got most of that quote right, yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> the important parts of it. Hmm. So That sounds a lot like you, somebody else Stephen who co-hosts a show called Geek Beat TV <laughs> with a robot woman. Hmm. Well, he suggests that we do more thinking before acting going forward. Are okay. you happy now, John? And now, thank you, Ben, for putting that story uh, in here and forcing me to read it. I feel like the weight of the world <laughs> has come off of my shoulders. Thank you, Stephen Hawking. It's, you can do your precious little check-in now. All right, you guys, guys, let us cheer know. Cheer me up. I need a little pick-me-up here. I want to see where you guys are from. Where are you Go watching? Ahead. Tell us where you're watching. Do it. We're watching. Now. Like, now. Here we oh, go. Liverpool. Oh, my God. Wow, John, John Rush won. Holy. Oh, okay, Calgary, keep going. Calgary, Alberta. Um, <laughs> Austin, Austin, Texas. Texas Saint, uh, Lake City, Salt Lake City, I mean, not Saint. Edwardsburg, Michigan, Irving, Texas, Lancashire, UK, Brisbane, Australia, Addison, Tarnowski, Gory, Poland. Lake Charles, Louisiana, Kansas City, uh, Missouri, Amherst, Ohio, Paducah, Kentucky, Tus Tucson, Arizona, St. George, Utah, Quad Guadalajara, Sipping Cabo Wabo, nice. Plano, Texas, Appleton, Wisconsin, San Francisco, Smyrna, Georgia, Imatra, Finland, Missouri, Turkey, Texas, Jacksonville, Alabama, Silkberg, Germany, uh, Denmark, Edmonton, Alberta, London, England, Batterdorf, IA, uh, Robotlandia, Geek, Geek, Geek House, Finland, China. Uh, Tumwater, Washington, Massachusetts, Nacogdoches, Nacogdoches, I don't, I'm not. Dayton, Ohio, <laughs> Austria, Ontario, Belleville, Ontario, Funky, Funky Town, Town, Netherlands, Netherlands. Uh, Orlando, Florida, Albuquerque, New Mexico, Wichita Falls, Texas, Calgary, Alberta, Scotland, UK, Norway, Bergen, St. George, Utah, Fallbrook, California, Athens, Greece, Yasu, Western Slope, Colorado, Spanish Town, Historic District, Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Macon, Georgia, work hall, uh, war, You missed work, Centerville, war, Ohio. Poland, sorry. Um, no, it's not Warsaw. War, war Chalk. Wadsworth, Ohio, Poland. Brisbane, Australia, Angola, India, Usuzupinki, Finland, Homestead, Florida, Gothenburg, Sweden. Mansville, Ohio. Sacramento, California. Changing my undies. Nice. Glen Heights, Texas, Bob. south of Atlanta, Tampa, and Sarasota, Kansas, Somerville, New Jersey, Guadalajara, Mexico. Polar Industries. Polar <laughs> Industries. Uh, Radaya, Ri Sa Riyadh, Saudi. Riyadh, Saudi. Uh, John Pedia, Texas, what? John Pedia, Texia, uh, Texania. Uh, Richardson, Texas, <laughs> 10 miles from Dallas's future Moe's location. Nice. Nice, Michael. Waxna, North Carolina. Good Richmond, Michigan. Richardson, uh, Texas. Nakura, Kansas. Kenya. Wow. Wow. Woman. Thank you. Atlanta. Hotlanta. New Hampshire. Not under the bus with John. Gamma Road. You are not, Janny. Braz, uh, Brazil, Sao Paulo. Sao Paulo, uh, Sao Paulo, Brazil. Gap, France. That's what I just said. Yes, I know. Thanks. Okay. Hamburg, Germany. Portland, Oregon. Antrim, Northern, Northern Ireland. Nice. Wow. Logandale, Nevada. Whew. My eyes hurt now. You Great guys are insane. Value Walmart. Is that your sister? Nice. Now, why would my sister be watching? Brazil, Sao Paulo. There are other people in We Portland. got you, David. Okay. What? The cable's out. Woo! <laughs> I can't keep going because I'm out of breath, and we Although are out I of time. Although I do have a story about that. My, my, my nephew got an iPad for his birthday, which is like two months away. Um, but he got it early, and they had already preloaded our app on there. Oh, and nice. the first thing he said was, Go! 
<laughs> nice, nice. Oh, All right, also, are you ready for... Also Madrid, Spain. Nice. Okay. Okay, now, uh, Bentonville, Arkansas. We can keep going, but we've got to get in our planes, trains, and automobiles yeah, for the day. Yeah, we have to. Two Yay. stories. Two stories for you. Story number one, the United States Marine Corps, hoorah, is getting some new Sikorsky VH-92 Superhawk helicopters. These nice. are the choppers that are frequently known as Marine One. Everybody knows the like Air Force One right. because you know Air Force One is a plane that carries the president around the world. Yeah, and, yeah. but far more I was often, aware of that. far more often they go in the Marine helicopter. They're on Marine One what? because yeah, what say what? Because <laughs> the Marines can carry the president shorter distances. You don't need a big friggin' seven 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 or forty seven or whatever it is. You right? just need something that'll get him there. So the Marines get him there and they get him there in style. The uh, uh, Sikorsky but just it got a easier new. Is it to take down a helicopter? No, it is not because okay. these helicopters have all kinds of electronics and computers and whatnot and, and, and survey. They don't even tell you what all's in it, but it's like state not. of the art. I don't want to know. I so, don't want our enemies to know that. Yeah. They have, uh, I don't see it in the show notes, but I remember because I did the homework that the order was something like $1.2 or $1.6 billion for a bunch of these. Suckers. So, and uh, we did order one as well. So ours Yay! will be arriving. Ours will be arriving in like 2078. Uh, Rob has um, a good point. Hold on before you go to the next one. I think we need a Geek Beat one. Yeah, I just said we ordered it. Yeah, we ordered it. Oh, it'll be here. It's uh, gonna be. It's gonna arrive in like 20. Uh, I guess I need to start listening to him. That's we'll twice 20, in one show. Toilets to yeah, we need a couple of toilets to uh, pay for it, but it'll be here in okay. 2087. So oh, just 2087, and then it'll show up. Well, now, I will have my anti-aging uh, solution by then. So yes, I'll that, that you go. will. Airbus. Airbus has a new electric plane. It's the E-Fan plane. What? <laughs> yeah, that's right, Airbus. I said it. The first flight is taking place, or took place, at Bordeaux Meridjanac. Mer Meridjanac Airport in France. Some French people need to teach me how to say French words. Anyway, this airplane makes 60 kilowatts of power through two ducted electric fans. They're placed close to the body of the aircraft, as you can see there. It makes it more stable and whatnot. That plane actually has three little wheels underneath it, and one of them is connected to a six horsepower electric motor that will push the plane up to 37 miles per hour on the runway to help it achieve takeoff speed, at which point it will go all electric into the air for an hour on its big old battery. It also does have a small electric reserve battery. Okay. And when it arrives back on the ground, it can be recharged in one hour. Nice. They're gonna use them for training aircraft. Wow. Kinda cool, cool. kinda cool. cool. That's it. All right, next up we have unboxing And time. a lot of it. We and do a have lot a lot? Of a lot we? of unboxings. Oh, look at that, they're all small though. We will be right back, but, but not until we're not coming back until you go to geekbeat.tv forward slash fame spot and tell us Will you use anti-aging solutions and how much will you pay for it? Yeah, if it really works. Well, of course it works. I mean, if, if they sell it, they it work, works. They, it worked on mice. Of course. If, if they adjusting your glasses there you, you look you look good they look good on you I feel are like you practicing your modeling I feel like Bono sing with or without you <laughs> no you don't want me to sing, sing <laughs> you don't want me to sing all right that's rush that's rush I'm gonna sing Sunday bloody Sunday and there then you you're go. gonna be like oh ears bloody ears <laughs> right, uh, and with that it is time for unboxings it's we have a whole bunch. Christmas in May today what are those? Well, today, you've got a whole different set of choices. Not only do you have small, medium, and large. I have two You also have long, <laughs> and you have short. So you want long, <laughs> short, small, medium, or large. What do you want? Um, I'm going Wait, to get killed for saying this, but I want the long back. <laughs> <laughs> we are going to open the long ones today. This looks fun. You know what these are? Uh, they look like light bulbs, to be honest, or small art packages. 
they are actually, let's see if we can get these things open. And since it's coming from Philips Lighting, uh -huh. I'm going to guess I was right with the light bulbs. Look, these are not just light bulbs. You're gonna freak out when you see what these are. Oh, I these, did hear about these. These are awesome. These are LED light bulbs, yeah. okay? This, okay, so, uh, you know these, we're in an office building, okay? We have these these big fl fluorescent lighting lights up here. Well, they use typically T8, yeah, those kind, those kind of light bulbs. Yes. They, they use T8 uh, Except that uh, wasn't bulbs. the light bulb, or, Yeah, that's it? not even the light bulb. Yeah, you're, you're you know what I'm, you guys. You. We're looking at the vent <laughs> you, at the moment. Behind you, behind you, Scott, <laughs> behind you. <laughs> anyway. Isn't it, you know that the wheels fell off the bus and we're like, oh, wow, look at the light. Look at the light. Just stare into the light, people. Those lights, the ones you see in the office building. You can't, you can, you know what, this is fine quality home entertainment. Those kind of light things, they use T8 sized light bulbs, but they are old, they're inefficient, and you ever the notice, costly. you turn on the lights in an office building and you hear this Yeah, these don't do that. Yeah, they don't do that. So what these are designed for is retrofitting, <laughs> retrofitting the T8 ballasts. So this one is called the Instant Fit. And if I am not mistaken, the instant fit, literally, you just pull out the T8 lights, you stick these in, bang. You, you don't have to go changing out ballast nothing. and all sorts of stuff. But they which sent is us awesome. they sent us two of these. Are and they I the think, same? Well, that's the thing. I think one of them was supposed to be the instant fit. And then I think one of but they may both be. I, I can't remember because they're also going to send us some of the ones that you retrofit okay. so that we can test those out uh, and show people. Yeah. Because that one depends. thing you may want to do is you may want to, yeah, I think this is also uh, another, like oh, an what is fit. this? No. Let's see here. Uh, instant fit. Instant yeah. Fit, yeah. T8. 14 and a half watt. So Very we can, cool. we're going to put both of these in one of our lights and okay. see what happens. But they have other ones that allow you to remove the ballast altogether. These are so you don't have to do any work. Like right. you or I could just we'll get up there, there bang, it. we're now LED. Yeah. But if you know a little bit about rewiring, you could remove the ballast and put in just LEDs. It becomes even more efficient, nice. lasts forever, and no buzzing. Love it. So we're going to test those out and let you guys know how it goes. Yay. Thanks to Phillips for sending those yeah. over. Here, find a place for those. Now, what do you want? Short. You want you got the long tube now. You want the short tubes? Sure, why Because we have a short tube. Okay, let's do Here that. is a short tube. Now this one was hand delivered. Oh, hand delivered. Hand delivered by, by Lynn? Lynn Wilkerson. That's not cupcakes. And they don't yeah, look like it doesn't look edible. I could be wrong. Uh, cookies or cupcakes yeah. or. It says do like not that. bend. I just un I un I cut the tape on that end for you. And he told me that there was a flat one too. He told me that the round one was for you and the flat oh, one was for me. Okay. So this is mine. I'm just gonna open it. Okay. I'm still trying to fit. That I don't know what it is. Okay, I'm gonna open see. it. Do not bend. This it is a map. Nice. But I do not yet know what it what? is a map of. We're about to we're about to find <laughs> out. It's a map to Lynn's house. Nice. <laughs> Oh my God, that's hilarious. <laughs> that is awesome. Lynn. She's going to frame that on her wall. That is so going to my office. <laughs> Very cool, thank you. What is this a map of? It's like written in Russian. He's Greek. It's Chernobyl. What is it, Lynn? It's Dallas. This is a Dallas, oh my God, that is, it's a Dallas map written in Russian? Wow. It's a Russian military, military map, map of Dallas. Wow. How cool is that? That's what those U2s were doing flying over. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> so that when they that invade, awesome. we can have that. That's This is how they're going to stage the movie Red Dawn, right? Yeah. Right. <laughs> Sweet. All the high school football fields are, are like labeled. Yeah, landing zone. Right, right. Okay. We'll have that to, is awesome. We'll have to put that in a, a frame and yeah. hang it in the geek house. I know she's she's gonna put that one in her dang office. I know it. Of course. Okay, uh, I'm just grabbing I'm just grabbing All right, bags. Do it. 
This bag, this bag is from Zazzle. Okay. It looks like. We had a package from Zazzle last week. You did, week. you did. This one, uh-oh. That looks like the same thing. No, it's not. It looks like the competition is oh. on. Oh. <laughs> from Jenny <laughs> nice. to Callie. <laughs> what does it say? It says, Jenny, what does it say? Jenny, Jenny is thinking is, robots, so am I. So am I. So uh -oh. now, now you've got a Paul shirt. A Paul Dixon is. A Jenny shirt. Magical. I, yeah. How many? I've got a mug. That, wow. Where is okay. it? Where does it end? I guess you're just going to like. That's right. These are very exclusive. I didn't get them. Uh huh. So okay. Wow. Awesome. Now you got another shirt. Thank you, to wear. Jenny. <laughs> I'm just gonna start pulling them off the top. Okay. No, okay. Do it. I don't know what this is. This is from our friends at Uline. Okay. Oh, like you were visiting them earlier. It's not from yeah. Uline. It's a Uline box. Let's see what we got in here. Oh. A smartwatch. Actually, yes. I no. You cannot dib this one. I want your you cannot again. dib this one. You cannot dib this one. Why are you closing it up? It, it, open it, it looked up. like it kind of got a little well, crushed. Aren't a little you supposed to I'm open it up? <sighs> I'm going to. This is a brand new Magellan Echo Smart Running Watch. These have been. Uh, uh, we've been waiting on this. We talked to them like earlier in the year about this thing coming out. It looked like it was gonna be really cool. Uh, I think they were at CES. I think they like maybe announced it around CES time, but we couldn't so get it's it. It's iPhone until... and Android. Nice. Yes. So what what does it do specifically that's special? It it's good looking to start with. A watch that runs is good. Um, let's see. Let me see. Well, first of all, it's from Magellan, so you know it's gonna be good stuff. Yep. Displays real time data from fitness apps. Remote control for fitness apps and music. Oh, nice. And uh, it's designed for running. I'm going to push buttons. Works with, like, Wahoo oh. Fitness and Map My Run and oh. Strava. I made it beep. Oh, wow. Beeping is good. I'm going to have to learn what this does. Timer. Oh, it's got a stopwatch. Echo. To get started, go to MagellanGPS.com slash start slash echo. It makes cool noises. <laughs> is it a touchscreen? <laughs> it makes cool it does. It's not a touchscreen. Well, it's got a big old huge push play button. It does. Well, no, it's not a touch screen. It's got four buttons. It's got four buttons. I will tell you, I'll tell you what, people. I'm going to put it on my wrist all right. as a reminder to play with it all weekend long. Oh, and then I, I'm going to like tell you. you need a reminder for that. And then, I'm going, then I'm going to tell you what it does Okay. next week. How's oh, that? That sounds good. Okay, next box. Here, you do this one because I'm putting this on my wrist. All right. What do we have? Oh, right. What? Yay. What? Okay. What? All right, so. This is something I'm actually pretty cool, excited uh, to get. These are called, it what? does It does say robot turtles, if you will. Okay, you hold that. Okay. What is this, Can't Teenage Mutant out. Ninja Turtle related? So, there, right. This is a game designed to teach kids programming. But here's the thing. Huh. So this guy, his name is um, is Dan Shapiro. He used to be an exec at Google. And he, he was like, well, you know what? I don't, I want to teach my kids programming. I want to get them interested and involved and excited about this type of stuff, but it's hard to do. There are lots of apps out there and like, okay, so he's always, the kids are always on the iPad and the Android device, since he was from Google, um, <laughs> um, <laughs> at all times, right? It's not hard to get them on a digital device, but he wanted to figure out a way to do that with old school, family style. Gaming. Get the, get the whole family together game. All right. So, so he made an actual board game he made an actual board to teach game. people, and it looks like it's got like decks of cards. Yeah. I don't know how it works so yet. So if you obviously. Uh, yeah, Arduino Hungry Hippo. Right. So does that mean if we like play this? I know that you're saying this is for teaching kids, but does that mean if we play this game, we'll learn how to program? Probably. I, I don't I don't know yet exactly what all it teaches. So but. here's what we're gonna do, people. So we're gonna green... play Robot Turtles the game, and then after we're finished playing a couple we're games, we're going to program. I'm gonna I'm gonna build a new space shuttle. So 
Right. I think I can do it. I right. slept at a <laughs> Holiday Inn last night. Right. I'm feeling pretty good. <laughs> nice, John. I, I'm wearing, yeah, I'm, I've got my uh, Gunner glasses on. I've got apparently, some Mountain Dew. Apparently, like for a limited time, there are some add-ons uh, and, and uh, things that you can get for the game to make it even more interesting. That's this that I'm seeing right here with this green little package. But uh, if you go to the website... Let, let's see, what is the website? Think, I'm guessing is it... Is it RobotTurtles.com? No, it's ThinkFun.com. ThinkFun.com. Yep. ThinkFun.com. Oh, it's coming out in June. Oh, so it's not. you can't get it yet. Maybe you're pre-ordering. Uh, but it's $24.99. Well, let's play that's it. Like, no, that's it's super interesting. Let's play it and then tell people how it's played. Okay. Okay, we got three more boxes. Here's one for you. Let me just move some stuff out of the way. <gasps> what? Good. Goodness gracious, lady. I like new phones. Yeah. Oh, that's mine. <laughs> you handed it to me. That was what? mine. <laughs> Possession is nine tenths <laughs> of the law. <laughs> exactly. This is actually for you, yes. It is. It's for all of us. It is the new Samsung Galaxy S5. You know why? Because I was saying, you know what? I haven't even played with the new Samsung Galaxy S5 yet. And you know what our friends at Samsung said? Okay. We, we can fix that. <laughs> and so they sent over the new S5. Yes. So it we're looks going good. to uh, play it with it. Feels good. Yeah. There you go. Texting and oh, driving. It can wait. I like that. It's kind of a uh, rubberized. Yes, it is. I didn't realize that. The, the, the Galaxy Note 3s that we carry are a, kind of a leather feel, mm -hmm. which is very classy. Yeah. But I kind of like this a little better because it's grippy. Yes, you I like, like grippy, grippy surfaces. I do. I like grippy. Why? I, why is that? I, I do don't we, do, know why. Do you need to lay down on a couch and maybe explain that? No, That's probably why shouldn't. All the, uh, Michelle Pfeiffer you, Catwoman yeah, you probably don't want me to. <laughs> okay. To be honest, right. probably not. Okay, move that over there. Yeah. We have two more boxes. We have this one right here. It looks like that's from I Love. Yeah, it does look like it's I from don't, I Love. No, nobody pre-opened the box. No, they didn't. Wow. Uh, pre-open. There you go. Rip into it. Right, what did what we, we get? Have? Selfie? It just says selfie. I think this is my kind of, uh, first, of device. Selfie. selfie. It's a nice box. iPhone case with a built-in camera shutter. What? what? Actually, I did see this making the rounds online. This is... Very interesting. Okay. Selfie so. is the world's first mobile phone case with an integrated but removable wireless camera shutter. Nice. Uh, Over there. Wireless camera shutter. I don't, let's see. Selfie combines two separate accessories, a protective case and a wireless shutter. The app is free. Into one convenient product that makes taking great photos and videos easier than ever. Simply slide the shutter out of the case, pair it with your smartphone, and enjoy taking self-portraits without struggling to reach your phone's camera button. Oh, or, look at that. or set it down and take a group photo without leaving anyone out. Or get creative shoot uh, videos and shoot video, or photos and shoot videos like never before. When you're done, slide the shutter back into the case. So look. it's a remote control basically for your phone. Yeah, that's, awesome. that's the shutter. It's a clicky. Uh, it's a, it's clicker. a clicker. That's a clicker, the remote. It's a clicker. That is really cool. Yeah. Now, it is a little thicker. It makes your phone a little thicker. Sure, but most people have a case on their phone that is making it thicker. Yeah. That's so pretty cool. pretty used to that. All right. I like the right. selfie. That's kind of cool. You know what else, too? If it works, I, I would assume it would work even in there. Just being able to hold it, grip it with your hands like this and hold it and point it like that and touch the back. Yeah, click, click, exactly. Click, 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 click. I need one of these. I can just be like this all day long. Uh -huh. <laughs> you're just taking a regular picture, you can just see it. Yeah, yeah, you could. You could be like click yeah. or be like click, 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 click. Nice. Okay, cool. That wasn't the click button. But uh, okay. Whatever. I have, Do you have another one? I have one more box. Is that big one on the floor? It's big. I don't okay. know if it's heavy or not. I have no idea what's in this Who's box. Who's it from? It's heavy. I, I don't know is what. Is it heavy? I don't know. It, oh, it's heavy. Ugh. You're getting all red over there. Okay. 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 What it is. What is this? Oh, OMG. OMG. Yay. Okay. Wait, it I got to put this down this to get this out. fast. Yeah, that's amazing. Okay. All right. We, so this is something that we're considering for the new Geek House, the new building. 
Okay, can I, can, I, can I just set this up a little bit? Okay, do it. All right, you guys, everybody knows I like power tools. I like power tools. I, I am truly a manly kind of man because I like to like drill on things, cut on things, everything else. Yep. Now, I have many cord, uh, retractable cord reels yes. in my garage. Yeah. I've had them over the years, et cetera. Mm -hmm. But. You've tried pretty much every one on the market. Them. But this one, this is, this takes the case as the geekiest. You mean the cake? Takes the cake as, <laughs> as the, the, cake? the geekiest cord reel ever. <laughs> yes. There's an app for it. <laughs> Just about. This thing uh, is self-retracting and powered. Now, what do I mean by that? I mean, the, first of all, the model they sent us, let's get it out here, because it hangs from the ceiling, <laughs> and it... Uh, when you want to get it to go back up in the ceiling, you don't just, you know how you usually you pull a cord, you pull it, you pull and like it if you get lucky, and then it, if yeah. you get lucky, it goes back. Right. Otherwise, you're like, pull, pull, pull. Right. Ah. It's like the draw shade. Yeah, yeah, they just won't go up. Yeah. So you pull it, flat, 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 flat. and then if you were to let go of it, it would be like, Whoa! look out, because that thing's gonna whip, it's gonna, it's gonna kill yeah. somebody. I, I it's gonna whip my hair back and forth. <laughs> but this one, no, that is not the way this works. So let's get it out. Wait, it's heavy. Got it? I, I wouldn't say got it exactly, but sure. Okay, here we go. Now, this one hangs from the ceiling, okay? So this is the ceiling mount portion, yeah. and this would be hanging up there. And so this thing can spin around, and this thing can kind of go up and down, whatever. Now, this will plug in up in the, up ceiling, in the ceiling where you want it to go. Yep. And on the other end, you got a really nice, did you hear that electric I motor? That, that was sounded, cool. Listen to that again. That sounded good. Yeah. So you've got this really nice uh, three-way outlet, one, two, three, right here. And then somewhere, I think right on the end, that's a button. Oh, yep. You Already can hear clicked. it. You hear that? Listen. Yep. You hear it? Can you hear that, Dave? Are you taking of a selfie? I'm <laughs> taking a selfie. So what happens is you pull this thing down, you plug in your stuff, you use it, and when you're done, click the button. And it goes back up. And this thing motorized rewinds slowly and securely How awesome up to is where that? you want it. So you hang it, you know, from the ceiling, and I think, I don't know about you guys, you tell me what you think, but I think that is a good looking cord reel. Like, if you just have that hanging up in the ceiling. What do you guys think? I think it's good looking. The only question I have is about the orange, but. Because you want it in Livid Lobster Red. Yes. It only comes in orange. Uh, maybe we spray paint it. But maybe we could put stickers on it or <laughs> something. We put a Dexter right here. Put a big <laughs> Dexter sticker right here. Hey, it is kind of the orange and getting it Dexter, is. isn't it? it is, yeah. So that works, actually. Uh, I, I didn't think about that. Yeah, yeah, there you go. So I think it's pretty cool. Uh, well, we're going to give it a try, guys, and we will let you know. That's it for the unboxings, and yeah. that means that's it for the, the show. show. Woo. I bet you're glad. <laughs> Aren't you glad to be going on with, with your life and yep. do something much more interesting and important? Thank you, though, for hanging out with us and torturing yourself. We appreciate it. <laughs> well, you guys can torture yourself even more by following us on the social media networks. You know what? You should actually go to... You should actually go to... Uh, Google.com slash plus geekbeat. Yeah, slash plus geekbeat. Yeah. Follow it. Follow geekbeat. And go yeah. to twitter.com. Go to the Twitters and follow at geekbeattv. Yes. And, uh, and I guess and we'll if you're, around And if you're from Kohler and you have a million dollars right. for you know, a marketing budget, I, I will wear that, that toilet on my back. I will do it. All right, that's it for this week. We'll see you all later. And for Callie Lewis. Bye.